Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Derek. Welcome to Men of the Den, and this is Monday. Hello everyone, welcome to another week here on The Den. So, Derek, what are we discussing this week? I just had a question come up, in my, just pop up in my mind, and something I kind of like bring into conversation. Has drag become mainstream? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I mean, yes. it's definitely more mainstream than it, and, than it once was, but has it become mainstream? I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd call it completely mainstream. Yeah. But it's definitely not as taboo and in the closet as it once was. Which is amazing. Is it? I do think so. Like I have pros and cons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like say, part of me is old school gay dude. Is drag in the clubs? Drag is just kind of like part of our culture and part of our history and a very important part of our history to take note of. Right. Because you do have the Stonewall Riots. Right. You do have legendary entertainment such as Divine, as well as not even within the gay scene. You have Monty Python had moments of drag. You had so many other comedies that we grew up with, like Mrs. Doubtfire and everything else. I mean, even, get drag. Away, even getting away from that, I mean, the, I mean, the whole point of drag in the first place was to make the club safer for the average person walking into the club yeah. to kind of take the target off of the average person walking into the club um, so just the fact that that's that's drag origin is you know is, is something to behold in itself and to think of where it is now yeah because well with RuPaul's Drag Race RuPaul has taken drag back to a base where it's no longer something to be afraid of. It is now something to be celebrated. RuPaul has made drag more palatable for the people who were unaccepting of it before. Um, which, I mean, it's great in a way. I mean, it's uh, it's bringing people out. To, I mean, I'm sure there, there's definitely more people going out to drag shows and you know supporting their local drag and if you're not supporting your local drag you should, you should be. be supporting your local drag if you, you, you know if you're watching drag race and you don't support your local queens you're not a, you're a drag race fan you're not a drag fan just saying um but that all being said um i don't know how i kind of feel about that because i feel like now when i go to a drag show there there almost feels like there's extra expectations put on the drag people the the drag stars on the stage yeah and i've actually heard the complaint before from a few local queens who keep getting compared to the queens from the show yeah that's not cool and these are these are their own performers right. they are their own characters Some, that somebody, they create. yeah and i mean some of these people you know especially locally have been doing this this longer than i've been alive you know, there's drag performers in our in our city that have been performing for 40 and 50 years. Like, we have queens, like, in the city who are, like, they're, like, an institution. Right. Like, when you talk to, like, Devastation, Dynamite, um, Miss Vicky, Rouge Fatale, and Eureka, they're an institution in the local community. Mm -hmm. But you also have some in the larger international community, like Lady Bunny, like RuPaul, like the Boulay Brothers, who are just kind of, like... These celebrated icons, Peaches Christ, Coco Peru, I can name forever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, as much as I, I'm happy that Drag Race has has made it a bit a bit more mainstream, I think we can't lose sight of what drag was, what what the whole purpose of drag was in the beginning stages, and you know that our local queens shouldn't be held up to that that same kind of standard production value that we're seeing on television um because if you go in with that expectation that's you know that's that's going to be kind of sometimes hard to live up to um because you got to remember these people are no no are heavily edited you know you know they they got they've got these awesome lighting sets they've got all all this money that they can in some cases that they can use that maybe your local queens don't have so I don't don't compare your local queens to the drag I think race. Part of the charm of a lot of these queens you see on the show is they have developed their own characters. Right. And we fall in love with those characters and we kinda like hope that other queens do that. Like 
But that's the thing. Like, you're also watching other people who have their own characters who mm-hmm. you can have your own personalized experience with by supporting locally. Mm. I agree. I yeah. agree. And just there's just some things that just become like kind of cliche like splits like death drops yes wig wig reels and tossing your wig off and it's just like i don't know we can't really say anything because we're not drag queens but it's just like yeah (laughs) yeah i mean that's not i mean it's it it makes for fun tv yeah but i I wouldn't go into a local drag show expecting that our local queens are going to do the same thing I mean, some of them do, don't get me wrong, but... And I still scream when they do. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I still scream when they do. Uh, the dancing diva, Christy Davidson. The best. <laughs> One of the best. The best. <laughs> love her. But, you know, there's... I, I mean, I, I love seeing her local queens, and, you know... When the day comes and we have to part from Halifax Bays, that will be something that will be very uh, disappointing. <laughs> But there's other queens in other cities. There's other queens in other cities. Yeah. And even like it's even starting to come up in our under in the underage crowd too. So the ones who yeah. get into the club, this is what I enjoy, is that they can Absolutely. Find, no, that, that is very much a positive. They right? have a yeah. they have a position. They have a stage that they can stand Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Absolutely. So overall, I think drag coming mainstream is overall a good thing. Because it gives an extra voice for those who are inspired. Mm-hmm. Is old me kind of upset that it, that it's a bit more mainstream and we're not seeing so much of, of a set club setting? I may be stuck in my ways, yeah. but overall, this is a pretty fantastic thing, and I'm happy to be around for this era to be happening. That's right, but but I stand by what I said. Support your local queens. Support mm-hmm. your local queens. Mm-hmm. Your drag queens. Your drag kings. Support them, especially the drag kings. Yes. Support. And if you haven't watched yet, um, what was that one from? That was that show from New Zealand, House of Drag. House of Drag on out on. Uh, and if you're in Canada, it was on. It aired on Out TV. So if you have Out TV Go, the whole season is on there. It's the first one of these competitions with the Drag King, and I highly suggest you watch it. Yes, yes, yes. You go, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So yeah, but I mean, you know, it, it's yeah. So support your local drag. That's that's what I'm. Pushing drilling this. into you right now. Drilling into this. And, and, know your history of where you come from as a gay person. I know there's a lot of people out there that say, I don't need to know that. No, girl, no, it's you important. need to know. Much like the It's Pride, very important. Much like Pride has become more of a mainstream event, it has a dark history too. Mm-hmm. That it's very important to remember. Yeah. Because we have come a huge distance. Still lots to go, but a huge distance has been made. And, you know, yeah. So, I mean, you it'll be much easier for you to understand the older generation, us old queens. Because when you're older, you're going to be you're gonna be thinking the same thing about these new queens. This is true. This is true. So, you know, when we're 60 and you guys, and you guys that are watching now are in your, are 30, four, are in your 30s, 30s and 40s. You're going to be claim, complaining about those 20-somethings. That's not right. Not their history. That's right. All right. So I think that's a good spot to end it up. All right. Well, as always, everyone, like, share, subscribe, and tune into the rest of the guys' videos this week. And have a great week. Yes. Yeah.